I'll also share some of the tips that Google provides to create a better auto-narrated audiobook experience. So here's what Google has to say. Editorial forwards, afterwards, and passages provide the writer's name at the beginning of the section. Imagery, edit or remove references to charts, diagrams, tables, and long lists. And footnotes should get removed automatically, manually remove any footnotes that were missed. And then some general notes on auto narration and interpretation. Narrator accents, some words may be pronounced differently based on the narrator's accent. For example, K-I-N-G-L-O-U-I-S sounds like King Louis in US English and King Louis in British English. Narrator language, to create audiobooks, it's best to use a narrator in the same language as your ebook. If you use a narrator that doesn't match the ebook's language, it can result in mispronounced words. Homographs, some words like read, minute, and present have more than one pronunciation. And within the editor, you can modify the audio text to represent a phonetic spelling. And I'm gonna talk about that in a moment, how that played out for me. More languages, audiobooks are narrated in one language. If a book has text like a quote or phrase in another language, the text gets pronounced in the main language. Uncommon abbreviations, spell out uncommon abbreviations like in names, WM period for William or units of measure CWT for hundredweight or S for shillings, spell those out. Punctuation, good punctuation improves the narration. Instead of a dash to represent characters, use the full word or use the word blank as in D blanket. And line breaks create pauses in the narration. 